I think many of us builders use this as our calibrated torque wrench. We think we have a pretty good idea of how tight it feels or how hard we have to push to get that nut and bolt to the proper torque based on our experience and the size of the nut and bolt we generally feel we can do a pretty good job sometimes we go get the torque wrench on those critical nut and bolts it's only an aircraft we should be able to figure out which nuts and bolts are critical here are two typical nut and bolt sizes that we use with our aircraft this is an AN3 nut and bolt and this one is an AN4 now when we go to tighten them we can go look up the proper torque that we are supposed to apply when tightening for the AN3 it is 20 to 25 inch pounds which converts to approximately one and a half to two foot pounds the AN4 requires 50 to 70 inch pounds which converts to approximately four to six foot pounds I have a home built help hunch that most of us builders are nowhere near accurate enough with our hand to the figures that we should be applying to those little nuts and bolts. Let's look at how we're going to determine this. One method to test how accurate our hands really are is to use a torque wrench. Now this device here which you can pick up at your local auto parts store or online is a torque wrench. Turn it around. It basically fits between your wrench and the socket. So for example, I'm going to put a socket on the end, snap it on, and then my ratcheting wrench will fit on the top. Now I can go and tighten this nut and the readout will tell me exactly how much torque I'm applying. Now what I have in mind is not to sell you torque wrenches or the concept of torque wrenches but rather to issue a challenge. The next time you have a gathering, a fly-in or a chapter meeting or just a bunch of guys over at the house, set up some nuts and bolts, get yourself one of these but don't let them look at the readout and simply ask them to tighten the nut to its proper tightness based on their past experience you let them tighten it and then you read how much force this will record the peak torque that was applied at a given session and you can see how close they came to what they are supposed to apply to a nut and bolt of this size have them do it for an AN3, an AN4. The AN3 is the guy that gets abused the most. With several people trying this, award a prize to the person that gets the closest. However, the real surprise is that I think you will find that most builders way over torque these small nuts and bolts and the proof will be right here with devices like this we can train our hands to get a lot closer to what the specific torque is supposed to be for our nuts and bolts of course nothing beats using a torque wrench when you're supposed to use it but let's be practical we don't whip one of these out every time we attach a nut and bolt so by learning and practicing what the proper torque should feel like we can get a lot closer real close to what we're supposed to be doing with our nuts and bolts as opposed to just thinking we just know it so with this challenge find out and I bet you'll find out you've been 
overdoing it a lot for those AN3s and 4s particularly. Let me know what you find.